I feel like this is by far the weirdest like dream astral travel thing where someone like says that they're in a dream and some weird chip happens. I feel like this is the weirdest one that I have come across yet. I don't want to like give it away. I want you to hear her tell the story. So after it, I'll give you my thoughts. I'm going to hear what the fuck just happened today. And listen, I, if you think I'm crazy from hearing this, I would think I'm crazy too if I didn't experience it, right? So I'm just going to go straight into it because it's a long story. It's a backstory into the, the story that I'm about to tell y'all that happened today. This started last week when I saw a TikTok where uh, she was talking about if you are lucid dreaming, don't ever tell the people in the dream that you're conscious because they will try to hurt you. They will try to K-I-L-L you, whatever. So I, in my head, I saved that information. I was like, oh, let's try it tonight. The same night I saw it, I couldn't do it. I guess my consciousness wasn't ready, whatever. Two days later, I, she, her, decided to do it on her own, right? So she does it and we're in the museum and there's a voice in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm about to do it. And I have this goofy look on my face. I'm like, I'm about to do it. And I don't know if it was a voice next to me or in my head. She was like, girl, don't do that. Like, stop stop playing around. Stop messing around. Don't do it. I'm not listening to her. I'm like, guys, I'm in a museum full of people. It looks very futuristic. I'm like, guys, um, I'm conscious and I know that this is a dream and I know what's going on. What time is it? Whatever I said to them. And the group of them look at me and then they start laughing. And one of them was like, girl, if you know that this is a dream, okay then go do something fun like go control your dream go have fun kind of deal and i'm like that's it i'm like y'all know they're talking about this on tiktok like they said and they're like girl go go have fun in your dream whatever trying to get me out of there so in the dream i start planning my next day for tomorrow the things i'm gonna do lame as hell i was so mad so i wake up it's about 3 a.m i don't know whatever time it was and i'm like bro that was so lame like now my whole day is planned for the next day i already know what i'm gonna do i already know what bills i have to pay whatever 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 so the next uh when i go back to sleep her she wanted to do it again this time we're on a train right we're on a train station am i supposed to turn here we're on a train station and uh the same voice because i said it in my head i'm like we're about to do it again i had the same dumb face i was like the same voice was like girl stop playing like you need to stop doing this stuff whatever so i was like i'm not listening to you so i did it again i said hey everyone on the train i know that this is a dream and i'm very conscious right now and i know exactly what's going on and they looked at me and then they looked away and i'm like bro that's lame as hell so i guess i just carry on with the dream whatever i don't really remember the rest of the dream because i was so upset at that point right week passes by yesterday i saw a tiktok about lucid dreaming and the same thing and how everyone's going through the same thing and i was legit about to come on here and be like oh y'all be lying on tiktok like that shit is not dangerous y'all some pussies whatever whatever y'all all can't be having the same experience wrong let me tell y'all what happened so it's 3 p.m i'm setting my alarm to go to sleep uh because i have work at 5 30 i was gonna have an hour 45 nap right so I set my alarm and I lay down, but I can't go to sleep. My conscience is up, but my body is tired because I'm tired, but my my mind isn't, right? So I was just like, mm. mind you, my fan does a tick, tick, tick. It does that noise whenever it's spinning around. So I, I, I'm like, okay, well, let's try it again. You know, let's just have some fun before we wake up and go to work, whatever. Lucid dream again. Because, you know, at this point, I'm thinking it's not dangerous. It's, it's whatever, whatever. Everybody's making the shit up. So I go to, like, my mind shuts off. And when my eyes are closed, I can feel my eyes still moving because I'm not asleep. My consciousness is up, but my body's asleep. So my eyes are moving, and I can still see the light in my room. After, I want to say after 15 minutes of me laying there with my eyes still moving, and I'm just laying in my consciousness, whatever the fuck, I, my eyes go like dark as if it's nighttime in my room and i swear to god y'all are gonna think i'm crazy i swear to god it was a countdown 10 9 8 i can see the numbers i'm closing my eyes i can see the numbers 10 9 8 7 6 5 whatever and then it, it i was like i don't know bro y'all gonna think i'm crazy i do know i'm gonna tell you exactly what i saw i it was like i was going through dimensions like it felt like my spirit was traveling on god it felt like it was traveling so after that it goes pitch bro pitch black again and when i open my eyes i'm in a whole different like i'm seeing different things i'm in a whole different view set whoever i'm viewing through they're at the movies with their friends watching a movie some cartoon movie was on the screen they're laughing whatever but it was so weird because i could literally feel her emotions i could feel her laughing i could feel her having a good time like i could feel everything she was feeling so but my body still still felt stiff and I could still hear the tick tick of my fucking fan, right? So my consciousness is here. I'm not, I don't think I was sleeping. So this is what I'm seeing. And it, it, at first it felt stiff. So after, I guess she was skipping school to go to the movies with her friends. After that, we're in school. And I'm like, okay, you know, let's let's play around, with, play around a bit. We are conscious. So I'm like, tell that boy he's cute. He's coming out of the cafeteria. And she she was like hey you're cute and he was just like yeah maybe we can hang out sometime you're cute too but mind you guys i could feel her emotions so in her in, in her emotions she felt flustered confused as to why she even told him he was cute like she i could feel her thinking like i didn't want to tell him that 
Like I could feel that. And I mind you, I could still see through her eyesight. Like when I blink, I see her. Like I see what she's seeing. It's not me. So she goes into the cafeteria where he was coming out of. And there was a group of girls, whatever, doing over there. And I was just like, hey, go up to those girls and join them in whatever they're doing. And she stopped. She was like, no, I'm not doing that. And she was like, you need to leave. And bro, I have goosebumps talking about it. She's like, you need to leave. And I'm like, what? No, I'm not leaving. Like, I'm just getting the hang of this. Like, I'm trying to have fun. Like, I, like I'm not leaving. And she's like, you need to leave now. Like, you need to get out of here. Leave, leave. And then her voice cuts out. And I feel myself start waking up because I can still hear the tick, tick, ticking. So I'm focusing. And when I close my eyes through her tunnel vision, it goes all black again. Like, the first time when I was falling into the, to the sleep, whatever. So it goes all black again. And then I wake up. When I wake up, it's me, like I'm looking out of my eyes, I see my bedroom for exactly what it is. Everything, the same way I was sleeping, the same thing I had on when I was sleeping, like I was wrapped up in a towel because I just got out of the shower. Everything is completely the same. And I open my eyes and I cannot move. I cannot move. But mind y'all, this is going on, but the ticking in my fan, that's the only difference. Everything else was a spare image. And you know, sometimes when you have dreams, like, okay, you know, you could be in your room, you could have the same reality or whatever, whatever, but something, some smaller detail is off. Like, you could tell it's a dream. The ticking in my fan wasn't going off and that was the only difference everything was a spitting image right so i'm trying to like i'm trying to move and i'm like okay you know thinking oh we're just having sleep paralysis you know because we were doing all that stuff our body's still asleep give me a second i close my eyes again and i try to wake up literally i'm laying in the same position i went to sleep in like i remember all of this so i'm like okay you know whatever whatever sleep paralysis but like some time is going by and i'm not waking up so i'm screaming for my mom it's upstairs downstairs i'm screaming for my mom for her to come down come upstairs to wake me up because i'm freaking out like i'm getting scared now and i she's not hearing me so i'm like hey siri facetime audio mom and then the siri voice says rebecca like in siri voice rebecca this is the second time you have tried to alter our reality this is the second time you've come here and tried to your she she was basically like saying you're messing up our matrix whatever she was saying this important message and she was like since this is your uh second time coming here and doing this you have to d-i-e now now it's time to d-i-e you should have exited this bitch is saying you should have exited when we told you to exit when we told you to leave you should have left and I, I'm literally getting goosebumps talking about it because I swear to God, like this, the way I'm talking to you guys right now is exactly how it was in the dream, other reality, whatever. So now at this point, I'm screaming for my mom. My body still can't move. I'm screaming for my mom. The series still saying, it's time to D.I.E. It's time to D.I.E. You have altered the reality, da, 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 whatever, whatever. So I'm screaming for my mom. My mom finally comes upstairs. And I'm like, mom, please, can you like shake my body? Like, I can't wake up. Like, I, I feel like I'm going through something, whatever. And she looked at me and she's speaking Creole to me because I'm Haitian. She looked at me. She's like, um, she's like, uh, I'm gonna let you sleep. You look so tired. Like, just go back to sleep. She was like, it's, she looks at her phone. She's like, it's 430. Same phone. My mom had on the same outfit. She says, it looks like it's 430. I'm gonna wake you up at five so you can have more time to go to sleep. I said, no, mom, wake me up. Like the urgency that I had was not the urgency that she had when I was speaking to her. And it felt like she wanted me to stay where I was. Like, she didn't want me to wake up. She wanted me to relax and stay where I was. So I'm finally, like, shaking. And she leaves. I'm like, Mom, come back. Like, wake me up. I'm freaking out. Da -da -da. And she's like, you're fine. Just sleep. So my fucking... I close my eyes again, trying to wake up, trying to move, trying to move, trying to move. So then I finally, I close my eyes and I start praying. I'm like, God, I'm so sorry. I even fuck with this shit. Like, I didn't even want to do this shit for real. Like, I didn't think it was real. Like, I didn't believe none of this. I'm praying. I'm like, God, wake me up. God, wake me up. God, wake me up. Goes all black again as if, as if I'm powering down. It's literally like as if it's pitch black in the room. And then the same thing I saw when I was coming in, like the galaxy, whatever what I saw, is the same thing I saw going back. And then I finally woke up in my bed. <gasps> And I hear the ticking of my fan again. And guess what time it was when I checked my phone? 4.31 p.m. Y'all think I'm crazy? Y'all think I'm crazy. Okay, how crazy was that? First of all, when she was like in the other person, like act telling the other person what to do, that was giving me like really big being John Malkovich vibes. I don't know if you guys remember that movie. Um, that was really crazy. And then at the end of this, I was thinking, like, what if, imagine if, you know, like, when people get possessed here, what if, like, that's actually someone from another fucking timeline, dimension, realm, whatever, like, she was the thing possessing the person. And then they were, like, trying to get rid of her because they didn't want her to come back and possess that person or any other people because it's not cool to do that. I don't know. These are just some of the thoughts that pop through my head. Like, what do you guys think that was?